Hello, and welcome to Mama Says. I'm your host, Amber Autry, and this week I have a killer episode for you. I talked to comedian Andrea Austin. She's originally from Florida, just moved to Chicago, and is new at comedy, but is already crushing it. I sit down with her and her mom, Kathy. Kathy lives in Florida currently, but she talks like she lives in Tennessee with her darlings and bless your heart. It's amazing. Both of these women are mega weed lovers, and they share the best times they had while taking edibles together. They both share how they use humor to get through tremendous loss, which is really inspiring and great to hear. And Kathy also gives the best advice by example of how to deal with a workplace that isn't right for you. Both of these women are hilarious, kind, and solid role models on how to have fun and live life to the fullest. I hope this episode makes you feel closer to your own mom. And if you're able to, give her a call, would you? And please enjoy this episode of Mama Says. Hi, guys. It's nice to meet you, Kathy. Nice to meet you, too, darling. I already... Okay, so you guys are originally both from Florida, right? From Tampa? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where did you get this sweet Southern accent and jargon, Kathy? It's, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. I was born in Norfolk, Virginia, but I've been down here all my life. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's great. So what, <laughs> how long ago did you move to Chicago, Andre? Oh. Uh, to two years ago okay and you moved for comedy so yes partially I was in a relationship with someone that lived in Chicago so that was part of the reason and then um cannabis was being legalized and also a job oh nice okay but you started comedy (laughs) I started comedy this year I had been talking about it for a long time but I didn't start it until this March. actually on International Women's Day was the official first open mic I did an open mic in like 2019 but I it was it was because I met strangers and they were like we're going to this open mic you should come too and I was like okay what so I did (laughs) yeah that's what happened amazing so I feel like and you can you know tell me if I'm wrong here but I feel like you get some of your humor from your mom like I yes (laughs) yes I don't get it from your daddy (laughs) He's funny too. He's just mean. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. He's just mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you go what ahead. Were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say you say my name like a Caribbean, like how Caribbeans say it. They say Andre. But like it's weird because like my mama sometimes she, well, it's Andre. Oh, it's Andre. I'm sorry. Yes. It's no, you. you're fine. You're fine. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> Hey, we didn't have a name. <laughs> Had to do something. <laughs> what What do you mean you didn't have a name? Well, she came like a couple oh, of weeks man. early and he had the nerve to want to name her Anna after his girlfriend in the first grade. And I'm like, you're full of doo-doo. So we let the youngest, the old, the, the, the other kid, she was older. She was what, five? My big yeah, sister, my five, big sister. Uh, yeah, and she was watching, we watched Andre the Seal. So she said, Andre. Well, she said, Andre. So your father, and I loved it. Oh, I got to get back. Sorry. Your father ad libbed it. That was my friend called me, and she's been on my mind all day. So I'll call her later. <laughs> <laughs> so you have uh, two girls. Is it just two of you? Three. Oh, wonderful. Three girls. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's so dope. Yeah. I want to get back to what you were saying, like before we started recording, um, you were talking about that you work, Kathy, at the stadium? Yeah, at the Emily Arena. Yeah. What do you do there? Um, I'm a suite attendant, a glorified waitress. Oh, okay. Do you like it? Yeah, cause, oh, I love it. It, it. Honestly, it was my part-time job. I was working at Bush Gardens for 44 years. And then COVID came, so they laid 80% of people off. I was so glad. I hate that place. But um, <laughs> so. <laughs> what were you I, doing at Bush Gardens? I, oh, God. Oh, I, God. I took care of all the, um, the inventory in the warehouse. Okay. I hate it. 
I hated it because I had an air conditioned office for like 40 years. Then they started laying off people. And as they laid off, they moved me downstairs in the heat. And I'm like, no, what? this isn't going to work. Yeah, it was hot. How do you do paperwork with a fan blowing 50 miles an hour behind you? You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Right, right. So, so, so I was so glad I got laid off. I was glad. And then you so, just decided to pick up um, waitressing? No, I have done that for like 12, 12. I worked two jobs for like 20 something years. Wow. Yeah, she always works multiple jobs. I did the yeah. same in college too. I got that from her. Yeah. So that's amazing. Yeah. You work two jobs for like 30 years? At one point, I worked sometimes four. three. Yeah, three and four. Yeah. yeah. I'm Jamaican, mom. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> She's showing her caring. They no, I'm cutting out. She's showing her caring. You know, because I'd work, one time I worked for what, the Bucks? We worked for the Bucks. I worked yeah, we, had, we, we used to work together. We worked multiple jobs together, me and my mom. Yeah. My first. We worked she gave catering. Me, yeah, she worked my, she got me my very first job when I was 16. Yeah. Doing what? Uh, we, we worked, worked as a catering server at a, um, like a, a really prominent catering company in Tampa. Okay. Uh, so we worked, we've been to, I can say, like, we've been to over 50 weddings, right, mom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we worked yeah. a lot of weddings. We worked bar, bar, bat mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs. Um, oh, yeah. We worked, <laughs> what are those other things called? What are the things when they turn 16? Oh, my gosh. So, what are oh, quinceañeras. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Quinces? I always call them quesadillas. Yeah. Quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> whatever they are so so yeah. at these that's amazing that you guys work together several jobs like did was that cool or did you get sick of each other no, no it was cool, cool. and people never knew that was my mom because usually at the weddings it was a lot of old white people and I would usually like trick them I thought it was funny because I'd be like yeah my mom's here and they're looking at me you know because I obviously don't you know, I'm not white. I don't look white. So I'm like, yeah, you know that little old white lady over there? <laughs> my mom. And they're like, well, they have a beautiful daughter. You, Yeah. So it was, oh, it was always I fun. Them, I thought it was fun. They used to say, how come your daughter's darker than you are? God, learn to get it. People are just weird. They would just they say that to your face things. like that? That's wild. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we'd work some events where people would be very nice to them and very mean to me. Yeah. Really? Black folks, baby. <laughs> mom. She goes, mom. <laughs> so at these like catering events, were you allowed to like drink and eat and stuff? Was it a party or was it all work? It was all work. We could eat, but we couldn't drink yeah. per se. <laughs> Your sister. <laughs> uh oh. I found okay. that Nina, well, was, Nina, Nina was drunk on many. I never knew that either. Oh, I wow. Well, that's, that's, we're not going to talk about that. She doesn't either. work there anymore, okay. right? No, <laughs> no, she, no, she, no, no, she passed three years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah. So, out of like, you know, the three girls, um, are, you're the middle. Andrew? Yeah, I'm, I am yes. the child. What's God. that like? Um, you want to ask my end or her end? <laughs> <laughs> both. <laughs> both. <laughs> so I think for my end, um, my middle childness is a little bit different than other middle children because I, I think that I got a little bit more attention at, because like my personality, I was very, very outspoken and I was very dramatic when I was a little girl. Um, I also, like, I did modeling and I did a lot of other um, random stuff when I was a kid. Like, I did a commercial for Bush Gardens when I was a kid because That's my mom cool. got me in that. So I missed two days of kindergarten to film, which now, like, looking back on it, they casted me as a Hispanic girl. And I was like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> so I had Hispanic grandparents and I was a Hispanic looking child in the commercial. So that was a little uh, interesting. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, my, I think my middle child experience was a little bit different, but obviously as I got older, like, and my sis, my younger sister had, um, you know, her personality was, you know, she was very spicy and she was the 
the, the mom we could safely say she was like the trouble child so she, she had she, she had uh, and then you know later on she had addiction issues so my mom kind of focused more on her in her mm -hmm. teenage years into her early 20s like when she before she passed so yeah yeah yeah, mom, what about, what about, would you say my middle child? Oh, Lord, <laughs> sweet Jesus. <laughs> you as a child were a piece of work. We either <laughs> ended up in the emergency room. Remember the time you had a handlebar go up your crotch? Yeah. You were riding oh, a bike? And, yeah, I, I, I turned too yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, and I, I, po I popped my cherry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I put a, a yeah, I put a, a black. I put a black eye pee up my nose. Um, yeah. One time I got, my mom had my older sister watch us and my mom said that we had to clean, right? Like clean the house. And I was, yeah. you know, it was our day off from school and I threw an attitude because I was like, it's my day off. And <laughs> I stomped my foot. Oh, jeez. I stomped my foot and um, I hit this metal box and I had to get four stitches on my foot. So yeah, let's just say I kept my mama busy. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I didn't go in there when she got the stitches. I had to drink two, what? Oh, they were Seagram's at the time. Remember the, the Seagram? Oh, the, Lord. The, oh, couldn't do it. Couldn't go in there with her. <laughs> even though even though you watched Little Mermaid in there. I, no, I had such father in there. <laughs> I, yeah, we're not outside. good with blood. We're not good with blood or throw up. Oh, so I have no. a phobia of throw up. It's really bad. Yeah. You have a phobia did. of throw up? We both do. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really bad. Bad. Real bad. Do you know where that Super came bad. from, Kathy? Well, you know what? It's weird. When I was little, my sister threw up a lot because she had cancer. Oh. And maybe that I couldn't deal with that. I, ugh. So, <laughs> ugh. I never, but I don't do throw up. I mean, ooh. yeah, no, mine, mine came from when I was in elementary school. It was my luck that like, I always sat next to someone who just puked. And by the time I was in like first grade, I told whoever sat next to me, I said, if you have to throw up, just let me know with this. Like you tell me you got to do it this way. And then one time this girl was doing it. I thought she was playing and then she did. And oh. I was like, <laughs> I had to like close. So in, co so in college, if I had drunk friends, and like I was driving, oh, I remember one time this guy got drunk. I had to turn up the music all the way, close my ears, and like put my head down because I was just barfing it mm. like on the interstate. It was disgusting. Wow. So how did <laughs> how did you raise three kids? Like, didn't they get sick? And you were just like, "Well, you're gonna have to deal with the." Oh yeah. Well, the oldest <laughs> she, she didn't throw up after she was like one or two. She didn't. You know, I was saved. Then the oldest one and the youngest one would take care of business. In, in fact, it was so bad. The oldest one had her tonsils out. And when she had her tonsils out, I was walking her around the hospital. And um, she looked green all of a sudden. And I pushed the IV pole and I went to the nurse. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse goes, oh, you're one of them people. I go, yes, I yep. am. <laughs> Proud of it. Proud of it. <laughs> I believe this is your job, ma'am. Here you go. Yeah, it's, it's not my job. I'm getting better with the dog, though, because my dog gets car sick. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I just clean it up now. Oh. <laughs> so, but, like, how would you but, say you guys, like, uh -huh. have, what's your special relationship um, out of, like, three girls how do you and your mom Andre like how are you alike do you have something that you guys share just you two? Oh, we are uh we are people people so yes. her and I <laughs> we always talk to strangers we always make friends in weird places so I'm definitely known for like wherever I go I'm always making a friend so like even this past weekend I went out of town I made friends with someone on the airplane and uh, my mom actually had a really good friend when we were, when I was like seven that she met um, and then they were like lifelong friends. So like my mom and I are very Southern bellish, like hospital. Yeah. Like we're very, we're very hospitable and like, we're super nice. Like my mom and I are very similar. Um, we have high energy. I think the one thing about us is that like we give each other like a 48 hour period because we're so much alike. We're like, 
we are gonna hang out for 48 hours and then we're like we're gonna get on each other's nerves um and- i gave her i told her 72 hey i've been doing good andrew it's been 72 lately but after okay, seven, girl, yeah. we're, we're too much the same. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless we're we high, should, we don't. Oh, yeah. We share our love for edibles. Uh, we connect oh, yeah. that way. Uh, uh, edibles? Oh, yes. Yes, we do. Mom, you could say that, you know, we're adults. But, it's legal here. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Also, I'm not what else do we share? What do we, well, we share our love for holidays, like decorating. Like, oh, my yeah. mom knew that. I miss you I here. I definitely hit. At, at Christmas and stuff, because you used to be put put the tree up and all that. Because yeah. I decorate everything. I'm going to decorate this year. Hmm. Yeah. And um, uh, we both can't cook. Even though she's learning, she's gotten better. I, I have, have tried. Oh, yeah. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, what else do we have similar? What else do we have similar? Hmm. Um. I don't know. I guess that's about it. Yeah. With, yeah. I, I would say our sense of humor is very similar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, and facial expressions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that yeah. I love you both so much. I feel already <laughs> that you need your own TV show. So I'm just throwing that out there. Um, yeah. When did you first move away from home, Andrew? when I was 18 yeah I went to college but I didn't really move away until I went to grad school so I moved three and a half to four hours away um I was in Fort Lauderdale for higher ed um when I got my master's degree in higher education so I moved away in 2017 and I feel like you were crying you were like I'm gonna (laughs) miss you and then and then I was in South Florida for two years and then I decided I was like I want to move to Chicago, and then I moved to Chicago, and I think you were crying then too. I was because um, I came with you. <laughs> yeah, we drove up. We drove up, and we yeah. got hit by a car. We were this yeah. close to Chicago. We got hit from behind. And we had Nina's ashes. We're playing. Oh my oh, god! No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. we dropped them in Tennessee, and she's in Tennessee. Is she? I actually, yeah, yeah. Where in Tennessee? She, she, I don't uh, know. Chattanooga. Where was it? Chattanooga. Girl, it's Chattanooga. <laughs> because, because we went up this um when we were kids, yeah. her my mom's friend that we that I mentioned earlier, um, she drove us from Tampa to Springfield, Illinois. And we stopped in Chattanooga and it was like an inclined like rail trek, like train that goes up a mountain. And I was like, Ma, we should do that, you know, because my mom didn't get to experience it with us. And so I don't even know if this is legal or not, but like, yeah, we kind of spread a little bit of her ashes. I actually still kind of have some. I showed the person that I'm dating. I showed them yesterday, and like, he was like, "I know what I'm getting you for your birthday." <laughs> I can give uh, you some more. You want some more? No, 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 mom. No, no, no. He was talking about like to put her in, not because <laughs> <what I'm- laughs> I have it. Because I have it. It's like somewhere fast. You know, this is getting <laughs> awkward and weird. No. <laughs> Um, so when I showed him, he like, like, you could tell he wasn't like, he was cool about it, but he was like, oh my God, like, I'm gonna get you like <laughs> something to put her in. Oh, that's like so this. nice. Like this. Yeah, no, he's, <gasps> mama. Oh. he's, yeah, yeah. He, I think he's going to get me like a, maybe a vase, maybe a nice urn vase. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay. That's so yeah. I, I was ever cleaning L'Oreal's today and I dusted his mom and she was about that big. <laughs> little oh face. god <laughs> and people are gonna think we're crazy no not at all my grandmother is on our mantle right now it's all oh yeah i have my mother father and nina all out there somewhere hmm. they're good like if the rug curls up and <laughs> <it pieces. laughs> oh my god yeah, yeah she she uses Chris the urn yeah except over my dad <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, one of my friends, he like tripped over the urn and then he was like, what is in this box? It's so heavy and he kicked it. And I was like, yo, that's my grandpa. Bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Kathy, yeah. did you did you always want kids growing up? I think I did, but then when I had them, but it was too late. I want to change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was too yeah. late. <laughs> It was a lot of work. 
and, I, and then my oldest one just had a little boy six weeks ago. And we were trying to figure out before we were making dibs on what he was, black, white. He came out looking white because they're husband's <laughs> <I'm> white. <up. laughs> but it's a lot of work having kids. It's a lot of work. Yeah. How, um, far, how far apart are you guys, Andrew? Uh, L'Oreal and I are five years apart. So she was in, she says she was a stressed out kindergartner when I was born. She was. Apparently I didn't, I didn't stop crying until slept. I was three. No, no, she didn't. Yeah, we used to go on car rides. She my did. mom would drive she me did. around. When gas, when gas was lower, my mom used to ri- drive us around. So I would go to sleep. Minute, we'd go I, back in the Yeah, awful. what did mother, what did mother say about me? That my eyes were like super creepy because yeah, I would stare at three people they were sleeping. be looking at her. But when, right before we found out because her tonsils were too big for her throat. So when she was almost three, they pulled him out. Mm-hmm. Your so. yours, Andrew, or your older sisters? No, Her. me. Oh, oh all man. of them. All of them had their tonsils. Yeah, my tonsils and my adenoids, like, and I just remember like that was the only surgery I remember because when I woke up, it felt like I had a watermelon in my throat. I remember you said that. Yeah. Wow. What was like Kathy, so what was like um, one of the surprising things about having kids where you're like, oh, I didn't know that this was going to be a thing. And one of the things that was like really nice, like your favorite part about having your girls. Well, the one thing, having all girls, those heifers all got on their period at the same time. Oh, no. And it was an all out <laughs> cat fight. Right <laughs> It was like, oh my, it's not squeaking that thing. It was like an all out cat fight. And then it is just, ow, just moments like, just them being there for me. They were always, I mean, they were always, they were always there. But, oh, oh, no, no. Well, let, let me see. You, let me see how to explain that. Y'all were always there. But it's like when we used to, when y'all were little and me and your dad used to smoke and we used to tell you it was homemade cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to some class at school and they told them it was and then they figured out that we were smoking weed oh my God. <laughs> yeah so that was that was a moment that wasn't well, very no scary. no i was gonna say they we had agreed we had it like two living rooms in our old house and one of the the living rooms had like this green l-shaped couch like a sectional so my mom used to tell us in the green room that they were talking <laughs> but they were actually smoking. What if we called it the green room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so amazing. And you guys, you were mentioning, you guys, do you do edibles together? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my mom is the first person I smoked with, actually. Really? Mm-hmm. When yeah. Was that? Do you remember? I was 17. <laughs> that's awesome (laughs) yeah I was doing so I wanted to get ahead in high school because uh when I was in my junior year I wanted to take extra classes so that way when I was a senior I could just do OJT which is like on the job training so I could leave early and go to work so I got so one time I was doing like my online classes and I think I was really mad at my mom because I found out she smoked but then one time I was like let me just She's sitting on the back patio. I'm just gonna sit with her, and she's like, "Here." <laughs> so I did it, and then I got my work done. I think I got an A. You can't class, not so. if you never tried. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When's the first time you smoked weed? Oh, what were you? Oh, me? The first oh, time I smoked yeah. weed? Yeah. Oh, I was 13 years old. Nice. Yeah, I only stopped when I was pregnant, breastfeeding. And when I got busted at work, oh, <laughs> no. when I got busted at work, they sent me to this flipping rehab that I had an intensive outpatient really? and I got kicked out of one of them. Yeah. I got kicked out of one because I had everybody <laughs> I go, <laughs> everybody was like, I said, Hey, there's no harm in smoking. You get a little stressed. You just need to relax, smoke a little. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's, it's, not really it's it's not what's well, not addicting it's just 
And then I had everybody raise their hand and everybody agreed with me. And I was sent to Newport Ritchie after that. <laughs> it's yeah. a different one. They kicked yeah, so when out I was a kid. That? They did. I thought she was going to, she told me she was going to class. So I, I was. Thought she was <laughs> I didn't know what class it was. Yeah. <laughs> you just didn't know what class it was. <laughs> That is so badass that you get in there and you're like, let me take a poll real quick. Oh, they, I, I had everybody had their head raised. I said, come on, everybody. And then she had to pull me out of the room. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. See, I'm the type. I'm the class clown. So it did. Yeah. I love it. How did they catch you at work? They just walked in? No, Good they sir. didn't catch me. Oh, no, this is the deal. All of a sudden, they started saying they were going to do hair tests. And I'm like, I am not doing a hair test. Well, at that time, no, because I said in plain English, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so then <clears throat> the office staff, we were eliminated. But I guess the one person heard me say that this is bullshit. So they made sure that I was like tested. And then they called me and they said, I tested positive. I said, oh gosh, I ate a brownie somewhere. They said, <laughs> <laughs> we went back 90 days and your hair went back farther than that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the day I went, I paid even 150 to get an additional test because I washed my hair with vinegar. I took all the stuff that you were supposed to. I went to a, a, you know, a smoke shop and that's, back then it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, you know, so it wasn't as easy to get because this was like 30, I was in my forties. Yeah, I was in my forties. <laughs> and um, so I got stuff to put in my hair. I tried everything, I still failed. So they made <clears> me go to whatever. Yeah, right. And then I stopped for a couple of years because they said that if, if I tested positive again, that they'd fire me. And it's like, God, they haven't tested wow. me. So I said, forget it. I'm going back to the to the to to my life. But now I can only do edibles because <laughs> I have smoked so much that my <laughs> lungs are gone. Really? <laughs> yeah, I got COPD. <laughs> oh like no. the, the old lady on the commercial, but I don't have oxygen and all that. So, and I was in the hospital a week. So while I was in the hospital, I had to figure out a way to make lemon out of lemonade or lemonade out of lemons. So that's when I figured, hey, I started Googling stuff. It's like I can make butter. Now I make cookies. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, her cookies are making fire. brownies, cookies. Do you sell the, the edibles? I mostly give them away. Oh, that's nice. She's yeah. too nice. Aw. So, so no, but her stuff is good. I believe it. I believe it. It is because I've run it through like 10 times. 10 times. Because a friend of mine, he had he had throat cancer and he couldn't eat. So I would do it for him. It wasn't, it wasn't brownies I made for him. I think it was just the butter. And then now it ends up I just get his bag for him and he um puts it in waffles because he's doing better. Because he couldn't eat anything. And I'm not going to have anybody, you know, so I had to help him out. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. You guys yeah. have like a favorite um, time that you guys did edibles together? <laughs> oh, that time I fell, Andrew. <laughs> was that the oh, day yeah. your sister got married? I think so. But also, too, bro. no. Okay. So my mom came to visit me maybe like two months ago. And her and I both did edibles and we were at this party and my mom was just, you know, my mom obviously didn't know anybody and they were my friends. So my yeah. mom was just like, I'm so high. <laughs> like you know, so looking high. around and then her and I were just both staring at each other. You could just tell she was just sitting there sitting on the patio and we were, we were talking. There was this guy that he was, he was a white male. He came out and he just was kind of, I guess he was trying to like, know what he was trying Bring to do was, I think he was yeah I guess he was just trying to you know just I guess you know control the, the outside party yeah. a little bit and I I, I I was like what is your favorite thing to eat because I was like I don't I don't know what to say to him so I was like what, what is your or what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten and then he was like deer testicles and me and my mom just looked oh, at each yeah. other like <laughs> like what 
We were you know, what? <laughs> oh no! I, actually have, I have the best. <laughs> I have the best story. I just remembered this. One time, I don't know if you remember this, mom, but one time my mom and I got so lit, so blazed <laughs> that we went to Verizon Wireless, and she ended up getting me an iPad. <laughs> I had big, yeah, you got me an iPad for grad school. Actually, you know, like uh, I just got, I just, I think in January, I just got a new iPad. So I actually gave her that iPad back. So, yeah. you know, thank, thank you, mom, so much for getting lit that day and getting me an iPad. <laughs> it was an amazing. I feel like we've done a lot of crazy stuff. Lit. We have. So, That's yeah. the great. Okay. Now I want to do edibles with you. That's amazing. You're just out Come there. Come on down. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Did you always like, or what did you think when Andrew was uh, decided to do comedy? Were you like, oh, that makes sense? I'm for it. I, I, it makes sense. It does. It does. But she kind of gets upset with me because I don't post it on Facebook, but I don't post stuff on Facebook because, you know, I have, I'm old <laughs> and I do have some friends that are straight laced. <laughs> So I had to be. She says she has church friends. And I was like, she don't even go to church. Why do you care about <laughs> these people? I, you don't hey, go to church. Hey, went to church for a long time. So, I and too. I walked and with the pastor. You don't think these day. church people, you don't think that these church no, people no. have Lisa other laws? No, Lisa doesn't because she goes, there's that weed smell again. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't, but I said, hey, you know, people need to relax. Everybody has their own. I just don't. And there's some days where she goes, Kathy, you look so tired. And I go, oh, I am. <laughs> but I'm really, but she's really, really lit. lit. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what made yeah. you go from like higher education or was it higher education you went for? Yeah. So I'm still, I still work. Um, in higher ed, I just work higher ed adjacent. So like I work for an online program management company, but basically I was an admissions recruiter for a large public school or a large public university in South Florida, in Miami. Um, I worked at FIU and I used to give information sessions to like parents and students. So I would speak to like anywhere from like one student and their family to like 200 students wow. in their family and so when I was giving these information sessions I would like you know would enjoy it and like get into it and like sometimes I would crack jokes and people would laugh and I knew that like I loved comedy because like I would I I went to comedy shows with my parents like we would go to the improv whenever I would come back home to Tampa like and there was someone that I wanted to see like it was always my mom and my dad or you know either one one separately or together and then like I told my mom I wanted to do it and like I even we even watched a comedy special or I told her about a comedy special to watch she watched it and she goes Andrea I actually think you're funnier than that person so that like really inspired me to kind of to to actually get into it and also too I think that humor is healing and you know after my sister died I like looked for different things to do to like heal from it so part of me, well, I do it to make people laugh because I know that like, you know, all, we don't laugh all the time, but I think that if, if you're able to make someone laugh and like, you know, really find joy, then that, like, that brings me joy. If I can make you laugh and, and things like that, I'm still new and still like, you know, trying to figure it all out, like structuring jokes and like my timing and things like that. But truthfully, like my parents were like the reason and my sister passing, like were the reasons why like I really wanted to and I knew I could do it. Like I, not me being cocky, but like you know, I just yeah, one thousand percent. Axel, Axel agrees. Axel agrees. <laughs> He's like, <"Whoa." laughs> thanks. Axel's got to take a tinkle, but you know what? We're on my time now. I'm not letting her <laughs> yeah. tinkle when she wants. <laughs> Poor Axel. So she, she she is a hot. That dog is. I got my. I got my mom that dog. <laughs> oh, You're right. That's You're like, my buddy. <laughs> that's, that's so sweet. Buddy, that's my buddy. Kathy, uh, can I, yeah. may I ask, like you mentioned growing up, your, your sister had cancer. Um, what was, yeah. what was that like? Like being young and being around that and like, well, the thing was, she, she was, I was shut the fudge sickle up. 
I was nine <laughs> and she was like 12. And for so long, I knew she was like sick, but they could never figure out what was wrong with her. And then they figured out what was wrong. And then she, I could tell one day my parents, my parents and my sister and my grandfather, they all came home from the hospital wearing sunglasses. And I'm like, uh oh. Because she told me one day we were when she went first went to the hospital, she came out after they did surgery. She goes, I'm gonna die. And I go, I'm telling mom. <laughs> <laughs> I went and told mom. <laughs> and she did. But it's weird because my mom had three girls. I had three girls. They're like the same years apart, the same age. I was like the same age that my mom was when she had us. And I lost the last one. I, I lost the youngest and she, my middle sister was the one that passed. Wow. So, yeah. it, sound, it sounds like when you said your sister came out and was like, I'm going to die. Like your family had a sense of humor too. Like, well, no, I mean, I, no, no, my parents, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. My mom had cancer from the time I was like five to the time she died when my oldest was 31. Hmm. No, when my oldest was six <laughs> months old, I'm sorry. You were 31. I was 31. Yeah, I knew somebody was 31. <laughs> so yeah, she 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 died when she was like six months old. And she used to tell me, don't have kids. When I married their father, don't have kids because people are gonna make fun of them and you're gonna have to you're gonna get upset and you don't want people to say bad things about them. As soon as I got married. She's like, when are we going to have grandkids? When are we going to have grandkids? So, oh, did you tell her about that time you punched that guy in, <gasps> oh, in, the, in the grocery yeah. store? What? Yeah, he called, he called my oldest daughter the N-word. And I knocked him in the frozen turkeys. Yes, you did. And I started crying and I walked out. But there was another time when we were, we were at, with my father because he was a World War II guy. And we... um. This guy, he goes, your daughter's the N-word. And I go, I looked at his mom, I go, how can you say that? And she goes, I think the same thing. So I went to the police and I said, help me. They, they said, there's people like that, you know, because I was young and naive. So yeah, but this guy, I knocked him the fudge out. Oh man, right the- <laughs> that, that must have felt so good. And then been it like, did. just adrenaline. It just- yeah, it did. And I'm not much of a, I'm not a mean person, but it did feel good. It did. So what, so what do you guys admire most about each other? Um, you can go first, Ma. Or you want me to go first? You go first. I admire the fact that my mom is really, really strong and very resilient in the fact that she can withstand so much stuff and so much shit for people and still be so positive and so happy and so joyful and and things like that and she's always willing to give her like l- like willing to give herself like herself to people to make sure that they're okay like and I know that it's not always healthy but like I really admire the fact that my mom is able to give like her last to people and that um she we're very much so alike in that aspect of like making sure people feel included and that we make sure people feel like acknowledged and seen and things like that um and the fact that I know she wouldn't agree probably, but we do have a very similar work ethic. I know that I'm a little bit, she calls me slow, but <laughs> because I move slow. What do I say? I get for my dad. You say I move slow, um, but it's okay. You do. You know. <laughs> you do. And so, yeah. And I guess I admire the fact that she works so hard, even like in her years of age now, a, a woman never tells her age, but you know, like in her, in her, I'm you know, time now. I don't care. <laughs> okay well 63 she still works hard and she she definitely makes sure she like she's someone that makes sure that I'm okay like if I need her I know that she'll like do whatever she can to make sure that I have what I need and has done that since I was a kid yeah so Kathy, yeah what do you admire my turn my turn yes oh <laughs> oh with uh-oh. with Andre. My thing is, it's just how she, how she does people. Like she's so kind to them and she, like if they need stuff, she's right there for all her friends. In fact, actually when she went in, um, what was that? Nova? 
how mm -hmm. you got in trouble Grad by school. taking the couple to the hospital and stuff like that. Remember that? Because mm -hmm. everybody's like, you weren't supposed to take them. You weren't supposed to do this. You weren't, but just be. <laughs> so it's just the way you do people. You are very kind hearted. Mm -hmm. You are very good to people. You make sure, you even check on me all the time. Make sure I'm doing okay and make sure I have. So. That's very sweet. Do you think um, that you'll ever move back, Andrew, to Florida? <laughs> um, I think the dog answered. I, I truthfully, um, I do not think so. And I, and I think my mom and I talk about this regularly just because like, I ask her even too, I'm like, mom, did you think that I was out of all three of us? Did you think that I was the one that was going to move away? And mom, what did you answer? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was weird because you always, you were always the type. You always said when you were young, you were going to move. You were going to move. So, and at least, hey, you, you move and I always have a place to visit. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Dog's barking at a 10 gallon water bottle. <laughs> get it. Get it, Axel. <laughs> um, oh my God. <laughs> get in here. I feel but like yeah, you guys are. Andrew's, Andrew's so kind. Oh, huh? <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> I feel like you both are very open with each other, but I always ask my guests this. Um, now that this is stamped in time, what would you like each other to know forever? That I love her. Oh, you made me cry. <laughs> and your daddy's not really your daddy. No, he oh, is. And, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I look just like him, so she's playing. <laughs> nah, he is your dad. <laughs> nah, no, <laughs> it's just that I love you and I'm proud of her. So, very proud of what she's become. Oh, that's good. You know what I mean? Ugly girl cry on here. No. <laughs> um, um, I want you to know, Miss Kathy Austin, hmm. um, that I never take your love for granted. And I'm very thankful that you're my mom. Aww. Aww. I'm so grateful you're my daughter. I remember y'all used to get so upset. Was it you or L'Oreal? Remember we worked at catering and everybody would call me mom? <laughs> no, that's for she me. I, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i okay with sharing, but you know at the end of the day that you're, I'm your priority, not <laughs> them. Like, yeah, I came. I You're came out of your cooch, not them. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. What are you doing, idiot? So wonderful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, my my final question is for you, Kathy. What is your mama says advice? Your universal advice to my daughters? Oh no, mom. To the world. To to every. Yes. To kids, to parents, to anybody. Really, just like any advice you want to give. Oh. Oh, be talk to your kids. I, I, my kids tell me everything. I know about their sex lives, everything. <laughs> I'm into, and I've seen dick pics. You were gonna say what you? Oh my god! Okay, mom. I literally thought you were gonna say what you always tell us. What do you always tell us when something happens? I'm trying to remember. Everything. Just laugh. Huh? Everything. Happens. happens for a reason yes mm. yes for a reason and i always tell them that and i'm like you just gotta you gotta push through it because it's weird like i had breast cancer and i kept it from did i keep it from y'all yeah i did keep it from y'all yeah we found so, out until they chopped my boobs off <laughs> yeah wow uh, you you like you guys didn't know until after the surgery no um there was I think that like um, when my mom and I were actually working an event or something like that, and I think that like I had her phone and I saw something, and then I told my little sister when she was when you know sure when we were also think, and we confronted my mom and we were like, "Hey, what's up?" And then they told us because you know just for us, and I think that a lot of times families will do this; they'll like keep secrets because they don't want to hurt us. But you know, if anything, we just really wanted what was best for our mom and like we wanted to know so yeah. so we could support we even got matching tattoos on our like 
Oh right yeah, there. we do. Yeah, oh, we do have. Yeah, one tattoos. has faith, one has hope, and one has love. Yeah. So. What and then when, yeah. when that like what made you, um, like when that happened? Is that when you like brought up that saying of like everything happens for a reason? Like, is that how you got through? Is that? <laughs> oh, I just got through. I just had to laugh my th way through. My guy in the car just called me at work and told me you have breast cancer I said I figured I said because my mom had it so I'm yeah. like you know and she said and I go well if I don't laugh I'm gonna cry so what's the sense and then when I went to the doctor he's like well one of them needs to go I said no I'm not gonna walk around lopsided go ahead take the other one. <laughs> and I joke about it and everything so it ended up you know and and it was so funny because I remember while we was waiting to go to surgery I asked the nurse, I said, how many people fart on the table? And what do y'all, what do y'all joke about, laugh about? I said, because I don't want to come back and y'all say, I let out stinky farts on <laughs> the whole surgery. I mean, it was just, we had to crack up because if we didn't, you know, I would have probably cried about it. So, but well, it ended up, I didn't have to do the chemo and stuff. Oh, wonderful. You didn't have to do it. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. No, if I had waited six more months, I would have been doing a year and a half of it. Wow. So, but it all worked out. Everything worked out for a reason. She says that too all the yeah. time. Hmm. Yes, well, it does. I believe that too. Everything it's except your father. <laughs> yeah, Girl. it does. Everything Girl. has a rhyme or reason. So. <laughs> Kathy, I need you to make merch. Like I, I would wear the sh shirts with whatever you say on it. It's great. <laughs> You're wonderful. Well, this has been so Thank you. amazing. It's been a pleasure getting to know both of you better. And I appreciate you sharing your time with me. This has been awesome. Oh, sure. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you this was fun. <laughs> yeah. You guys are so dope. Like one of the coolest mom daughter duos I've ever talked to. And I'm really, I'm appreciative. Uh, that's one thing I do. My kids know I love them. I, I will move heaven and earth for my kids, you know, and they don't even need to worry about that. So, cause I'll be right there for them. So, but it was good to meet you too. Thank yeah. you. You guys have an awesome day and keep, Keep doing the keep doing weed. <laughs> oh, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. Absolutely. Oh God, absolutely. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm I'm going to a show, so I guess I, it's time for me to eat mine too. So. There you yeah. go. <laughs> oh, we used to cheers. We used to cheers our edibles too. So cheers. Oh, cheers. Guys. Cheers. <laughs> uh, uh. Have yeah, an right awesome day, guys. All right, you too. Bye, guys. Have a good one, darling. Bye. Bye, bye, babies. Bye.